Solmanati Academy is a place where young adults from all over the continent gather. Each student has their own ambitions and goals they wish to achieve. The students attend Solmanati Academy to reach their potential. The school ran with a meritocratic system. Those who didn't achieve a certain level were mercilessly dismissed. Nozomu Buddhist has been in school for two years, in which he left everything behind with no regrets to be in that school with his childhood friends. Ken Notice and Lisa Hounds. The friends Lisa Hounds and Ken Notice are inseparable lovers in which Lisa moved to Nozomu Buddhist little village, which was located on the outskirts of a small county that was friendly to relations to the neighboring kingdom. The village is said to be an average farming village with related fertile land. Lisa, in the village with Bodis, greeted him, and they chatted, and she introduced herself to him. Lisa was a girl who had been traveling with her mother ever since her dad passed away. Lisa's dad was an adventurer who traveled the world from one place to another. Adventurers are pioneers in finding new lands. Nozomu Buddhist was their parents' only child, and his father would be annoyed if he attempted to go to school. Lisa wants to go for her dreams, and she wants to attend Solminati Academy to achieve her dream. So Buddhist supports her and follows his lover. Speaking of support, we would love it if you could help support us by hitting the subscribe and like button. Then Lisa hugged and kissed him, and went ahead to the school. The school based everything on the student's grade and performance. The country was in a state of turmoil by a demonic invasion. After 20 years, they opened the school to prevent the event in which the government openly funded the school. Nozomu Butis was once top of his class, but later he was treated like an outcast after not doing well in his studies. He was also targeted by the minister of the students because he was the lowest rank. They pushed and fought with him in class so that he could improve the teacher, then taught them by training his mental strength. The teacher said he could force magical elements to rise up and manifest to create various effects. The magic is the process of coarsening one's own mental power did ritual magic to grow their magic. There is a source of formulate magic, chanting magic, in which ritual magic is one of the two modern crop magic methods. The teacher told his students to prepare for the next day to be experimenting with different catalysis to produce specific magical results. He was excused from the practice because he was a useless black stained tag. He thought to himself that he had never held a sword, didn't have the same drive, and was never really a scholarly person to begin with. Lisa was given the ref-haired princess because of her excellent scores in her academy. Buddhist kept pushing even though he was struggling and wanted to grow stronger with her lover and friends. People were so hostile towards him in school and also bullied him sometimes. Lisa left Buddhist because he cheated on her. Still, no one believed him except Ken, who eventually fell in love with Lisa and started to date her. The great city of Arkraza was built about 10 years ago. At the center of the town lies the Solmanati Academy, which is accomplished by the surrounding districts. Only the aristocrats and high-ranking personnel are allowed in the city of Arkraza. In the northern area lies the political and administrative offices responsible for governing the city. The academy is considered the auxiliary of the city of Arkraza dormitories for the students. The eastern area harbors the civilian district, and the western area contains all kinds of artisan workshops, from blacksmiths to weavers. The southern commercial district, it's the literal lifeblood of the local economy for the city. A forest of Spasian which has a highway that runs throughout all the districts within the city before the city was built. The area was a buffer zone situated between the Cremazione Empire and the Kingdom of Horsuona. The city was a neutral territory with no ruler fighting with both hands. Nozomu wielded his blade with conviction and determination, using the instant dash form of magic that allows powerful acceleration that can be as fast as a blink of an eye. The phantom blade was made up of compressed and dense QI, and the sword traveled dozens of meters the moment the sword was drawn. Noromu asked his master, a lady, whether she wanted to kill him or not when they were fighting, but the master replied that he would have struck him down the moment he tried to escape. His secret master was a lady called Shino. Before the town's construction, she traveled into the woods to continuously work with her skills. She said his attack was nothing short of a half-assed attempt, told Noromu that he anticipated his weakness, then they both went for dinner. Shino saw Nozomu training alone in the dangerous part of the forest. The beast in the forest was considerably powerful to travel for, but she noticed how his training lured her in. There she examined and saw how bad he was, with a place and lifeless skin, peeling his exhaustion from pushing himself too far. The fact he was malnourished only hastened his destructive state. 
Nozomu was treated like trash by everyone, but he kept training, in which he was destroying himself simply to earn respect from others. There he saw a demon dogs, a version of a normal dog, but he was restrained by his master to die as a warrior, then die normally. For one and a half years, he has improved and quite become the monster. His blade was so powerful that it could slash through a pit of iron with the phantom blade. Shino said, using his skill in a mick battle at the academy would still be incredibly difficult because his training sessions were the escape. In the forest then, he saw two demonic bears. It takes a powerful ranked adventure to take one alone. And the bear has fur strong as any shield. Within the forest, he saw a young lady who was at the top of the students, known as the Midnight Princess, due to her hair being as dark as the midnight sky. Thelmaline powerful magic already surpassed teachers in magical strength, a magical spell that produces a vortex of wind that slices through the opponent also. He wondered how Iris's strength was so powerful, just how strong her raw magical have immense magical power. Iris has a unique ability that allows her to cast attacks and spells without chanting that their power level is ahead of him. His body was still a limit since she had a battle with his master QI ability shouldn't be taken lightly. He then thanked her for helping him. Idris Dina Franschild was in her second year meeting Nozomu Buntis. They both introduced themselves, and their aim was to kill the demonic beasts. Once he kills the dragon, the dragon's power will be granted to his power. The dragon is said to have immense power, has small size and intelligence, and his attacks could pose an undeniable threat. Idris Dina quickly heads back to see him the next day because of the demonic beasts in the forest. Master Shino doubled Nozomu's training regimen in which she thought he cheated on Lisa, his girlfriend, and got caught. Mithril is a metal that has a high affinity for magic and has the ability to accumulate magic over time. The Shino sword was given to her by her father, a swordmaster, when she first arrived in his place. It was made with her habit of magic consumption in mind. The sword was stronger and protected her more than any armor. The sword was engraved with the name, The Silver Wings of the Evening Stars. The QI and magic are the sources of the soul. It tends to lean in mental state of the caster and their formation in unison, but also tends to repel each other. The sword was made to negate the repealing nature of the two. Left alone in the forest with full demonic beasts, in which his secret master Shino wondered who he was. The sun was so bright, and being around so many students was so uncomfortable for Nozomu. He is despised throughout the whole academy. His training was also doubled. He lacks money but has to make it through his hunting. Eklos is the auxiliary school that is directly connected to the Salmanad Academy. The school was common for the children to be gifted. Those who are chosen to go to the school are higher-powered officials. The purpose is to show signs of being gifted at an early age. He also helped a small girl who was an Eklos in, and he has seen someone who looked just like her. She was seen playing with shadows during her lunch break. There, she found out the shadow had taken her bracelet and gone all the way to the tree. There Nozomu appeared and asked the shadow to give her back the bracelet, which the forest was extremely smooth for him to climb up. In the forest, it is vital to be able to climb the toughest of trees, but he said he would try hard to climb, which climbing was his specialty, and then told this shadow to hand over the bracelet, but the shadow declined, and he fought with the shadow and later collected it. The small girl introduced herself to Somiliana, thanked Nozomu, and went back to her school. In the school, the teacher told his students that ritual magic is one of the oldest forms of magic, follows instructions, and won't have any problem. He told each student to create a magical altar by themselves, which Mars was fortunate enough to be proficient in both. QI and magic are relatively high levels that depend on the capability of the magic from the caster. One's ability tends to go only toward QI and magic. Since Nozomu couldn't produce any magical skills, he sat out of all the magic lessons, some of his first year of attending the academy but due to his missing classes regularly but tried to make up for the last time by attending class instead, but was not allowed to participate in the magic lectures. The academy only focuses on students with talented abilities, which are given more benefits. After the attack, Iris told Lisa that she had to focus on the battle ever since she was preparing for the attack. Lisa asked Iris about how she started preparing for the attack because her barbaric attack took her longer than usual to prepare for it, which Iris took as a compliment. His friends addressed Lisa about her dating her ex-friend, Ken Notice, and leaving his former lover. But only fools will make a judgment on people who they don't know a person is an ally, said one of her friends. 
Lisa said if only she had summoned the attack sooner, the battle would have gone smoother. It took her ten secs to conjure the attack, but it only took one of her friends one sec to do so. Lisa does watch her classmates spar from the sidelines, in which she tends to enjoy the moments. It became a regular routine for her, in which she figured out she learned each time she watched others fighting, which she could apply to her training. Lisa asked Thelma about Nozomu's ability. Nozomu was contemplating how he deserved to be suffered, how his life was, why he was forcing himself to go through the pain, why he couldn't make those thoughts of his that constantly ran through his mind stop, and why he hadn't got stronger. Whenever she asks Lisa about its cause, she looks at him with disgust. Nozomu thought to himself that he tried his best to train himself as a coping mechanism for his inadequacy. Then he bumps into Somia by saving her from falling, and she requests to see Nozomu again been the second time. He helped her, and would also like to repay him for his good deeds. Nozomu was surprised at Somia's request to see him because that would be the first time someone asked to see him without being bullied, and promised to meet her the next day at school. Somia told her younger sister that she wished to be strong as her sister, and that there are six elements that they acknowledge, which are earth, water, air, and wind, which are common. In contrast, the other uncommon ones are light and darkness, and each element is determined by the connection of the elements themselves. She told her little sister to focus on the pace at which she chants her magic. That light magic requires a lot of energy to do it, and also maintain the flow of the energy from disappearing. Her sister asked Somia the secret behind her happiness and told her she met with her new friend and told her how he helped her two times. Iris has black hair almost identical to Thelma's, which should have known that her bracelet is something no ordinary commoner would easily possess. She said her sister was also in the same year as Thelma. Iris gave Somia lunch to eat and later asked Nozomu to join them as they ate. Iris has a beautiful face and composure body and helps those in need. She is worshipped by other students and receives countless dinner date requests. Nozomu said if he were to be in the same area as Iris, a populated area, the news would have spread throughout the school. Somia likes Nozomu to eat with them, but he doesn't seem like the public fields. Iris told Nozomu not to add any formalities when addressing her, but later asked her why Thelma didn't have lunch with them. Iris replied and said she was called by Professor Jihad to his office. Professor Jihad Rondell was at the front lines of the war against demons that took place 20 years ago. He was considered one of the strongest swordsmen. The Greek demon migration took place in the lands of the Ark Mill 20 years ago. It occurred in the northern, eastern part of the continent, which later escalated into a disaster that was later called the Great Invasion. Hundreds of thousands of people were killed, which led to an influx of refugees taking shelter in neighboring countries with the loss of entire countries that also suffered from civil disruption, while some other countries suffered from astronomical damages. Later after the suffering, they built an academy called Solminate Academy. They created Al-Kazam as a place for people to come together and advance their research together. Each country was advancing its research into developing different types of combat styles and other kinds of technology. Somia and her elder sister Iris was arguing that dogs are cuter than cat, which Somia said her shadow cat was cuter than a dog, and related it to how she saved them back in the forest. Nozomu was said to have the lowest ranking students in school, and his magic was so low, but he could only attack once with the amount he had. But he has to train his natural physical body to its limits because of his suppressed abilities. Iris asked her why he didn't join any party as well, or if it was because of his breakup with Lisa, or animosity towards him from the students because Iris thought that Nozomu had to have high magic because he was familiar with the forest of Spasim, which was an extremely dangerous place infested, with demons where a dragon-class adventurers lived. After he was addressed by Iris, he left disappointed, and Iris asked his sister if she should apologize to him because the talk was too much for him. Camilla Vue Tuchos was an old friend of Nozomu, and also the first friend Lisa had when she entered Solminate Academy. There he bumped into Lisa, that told him to get away and leave her sight. Nozomu sadly went to the forest and went deeper, then saw a lot of demonic beasts in the forest and built a shelter for himself. Nozomu was confused and didn't know what was happening around Alakazam, a creature with an overwhelming presence and a manifestation of absolute power. Along the deeper forest, he saw a dragon, a creature that should have been discarded into history and legends, 
He thought to himself that he needed to run, that the dragon could blast humans using just his roar. The next moment, all sounds disappeared and turned into a crater that could fit the entirety of the Solminate Academy. The dragon is said to have spiritual magic, the magic of the spirit that needs to be processed elsewhere, and can also be activated as soon as the spirit chooses to use that magic. Spiritual magic is overwhelmingly faster. The dragon hits him with his mouth. Then he goes into a short dream about how he wants to support Lisa's dream, even though she's a rough person, and does judge people with rumors, but he can't do anything about it. There he met Shino, his secret master, that was fighting with the dragon to defeat the magical beasts which were too strong for him. She told his disciples, Nozomu, that he was so unfortunate to face a monster which is of legendary status at his age. The dragon is said to have five different colored wings and a jet black body. The name of the dragon is called Tramat. Around 5,000 years ago, it began eating its own species and eventually got sealed them. His master said it was quite unfortunate for him to encounter such a godly creature. He told his master Shino that she should escape. While busy distracting, the monster noticed that his organ must be injured. Shino told Nozomu to run as fast as he could and shouldn't look back. She then used the phantom blade on the dragon to slice through light rays with one blow. And with QI, she destroyed a further 10 light rays, blew up the attack of 20 light rays, done the slice fire more than five times, until her muscles started to ache her, in which she can't do it anymore. The smell and sound of the light rays disappeared, and which QI ability light destroyer caused the enemy to be lifted in the air and be destroyed by the power of the QI due to the sudden depletion of QI. The power of the QI was lost, and he fell down and vomited out blood from his mouth. The blood loss started lowering his brain functions. The rejection of death awakened his power. The stagnant ice in his heart began to get out, and the desperation of wanting to live made him stand up from his fall. Nozomu's concentration soared to its limits and increased his sense of time. The invisible chain withdrew him from moving towards the dragon. The invincible chains that withdraw him from moving have no way he could break off his metal chain so easily, but manifested out of nowhere was a product of imagination. Due to the extreme acceleration, the dragon lost sight of Nozomu only for a split second. He then uses his phantom blade and moves faster than the dragon. The dragon still possessed a physical body even though is a type of spiritual creature. Tiamat's roar struck the ground with so much force that it caused a large earthquake and caused Nozomu not to move freely as usual. The dragon stomped through an existing underground cave. He was capable of using extraordinary magic comparable to spiritual magic, being the king of spirits and invoking spells to wipe out Nozomu. But he was able to free himself from the shackles of his repressed ability and dashes at high speed. The light ray of Nozomu moves faster than Shino's speed because of the repelling light ray. Dragon became irritated at the purry of the human resistance. The dragon then poured all his power into his five colored wings and wanted to destroy the world he was trapped in. The world was created to seal Tiamat, weakened by the sealing process. Nozomu then used the phantom blade skill, sliced all the scales, exposed his throat and swung his body. The dragon was not yet defeated, but Nozomu's attack ended up blasting the dragon's head off along with the bundle of nerves inside it. He fell down, in which he stood up with the invisible chain around his body. Shino took Nozomu in, her disciples after he collapsed fighting with the dragon, and told him she had been caring for him for the past three days. He was inside his master cabin after he awoke. He then stood up and thanked his master, and asked about his master's health and whether she was injured, but she told him she was perfectly fine. She told Nozomu about the sealed world created by the dragons in order to seal the dragon, King of Riven. After Nozomu defeated Tiamat, the dragon, he automatically absorbed his power and was called a dragon slayer. They appeared just several hundred years, about 300 years ago. Nozomu's physical abilities have increased but haven't gotten much stronger. The chain that binds him releases that power he has acquired was so exceptionally strong. Great power tends to attract all sorts of things. Glory, envy, authority, status, man-eating friends and the like. Shino asked his disciple what he really wanted to do with no turning back at the end. He also told him to use the techniques she taught him by mastering that it would keep him from hiding rock bottom at the very least, which was extremely rare in this continent, that if he were to use the phantom blade on a wooden dummy, anyone would know not to let his guard down. Told him to face reality, because that's the only reason he fell that far. Staying at the academy was Lisa's dream, but he focused instead on sword training. Shino was so concerned about his health, 
and told him to focus more on his health at the cabin. She said he hadn't decided because he only saw the present, still trapped her Lisa and his past life. Still lying on the bed, Iris came and hugged him, complimenting him that he had fought well. Sheena was born in a country within the continent of Arkmill as the second daughter of a family head of the famous. Mikagura's style of swordplay, which she will be able to learn at a very young age, and was also ridiculed by the people fighting as a woman welding a sword, and in the blinking eye, her talent manifested received commendation and a reward from the highest ranking noble in the country, in which she ended upon a time when she met a young guy introduced to her by her sister as one of her disciples. They both shares and pour out their minds and got married, but the marriage failed and was cancelled. Because of her ex-girlfriend accused her of some wrongdoings by her, and was unable to prove herself right because nobody wants to hear her out. Later, she was depressed and went out of the wedding venue, devastated, went to her house, broke up with him, and left the village without anyone knowing her whereabouts. However, every battle she fought ended in victory. Nozomu noticed that his master had been acting differently since the day he was treated. He also noticed that the medicine in her bag was meant to treat him as well, which was not from his city. Shino accompanied her disciple Nozomu to his school, because he had been off for a week. However, Nozomu was still surprised about the caring side of his master. When she's upset, she will use martial arts, along with the stream of insults. Under the pretext that disciples had never been to Alakazam, he quickly returned to the forest because the final exam of Solminate Academy was quite close to. After he returned to school, his master told him to meet up with her so that she would have something to speak with him. The final exams were set up, and the results of the practical and written exams are the main deciding factors of what rank that student will be placed in next year and those who fail completely will be banned from the academy. To Nozomu, who usually gets low grades, was a big problem for him. Then he went ahead to his class, met his home teacher, and remained silent about why he wasn't in school for a week. Somia approached him and was quite inquisitive about why he wasn't in school for a week and didn't inform anyone about it. Nozomu lies to Somia that he was attacked by one of the three bears in the forest, which Somia knows he was lying about and that her elder sister killed the three bears ten days ago. Nozomu was so speechless and felt embarrassed for not opening up to Somia. The three sisters were sitting outside the school premises, discussing how to invite Nozomu to an Iris birthday party so that they could clear up the misunderstanding among them. Mock battles at Solminate Academy started in the afternoon, and practical lessons, lessons such as ritual magic, were demonstrated. First, Nozomu was paired to practice with one of his skilled classmates. Then he thought of using the QI techniques he learned from his master. Then the battle began fully. Mars and Nozomu began to attack each other with their swords. Mars was thinking about how much QA Nozomu had because the way he was attacking him was stronger. He said he would crush him into pieces as they clanged their swords at each other fighting. Mars used a dust wind blade, a QI technique, where the user's sword is enshrouded in a blade of wind that is capable of ripping apart objects, which causes an enemy with poor defense or attack to be unilaterally blown away. A wind blade is a technique that produces a high-density compressed wind that emits an intense pressure. The technique also increases the speed of splashing attack, and makes it even more powerful and more repetitive than before. So he can read two moves ahead, said Mars, thinking his sword couldn't reach Nozomu with his ability known as wind spirit protection. The power and accuracy of spells and QI techniques are greatly increased because becoming a Dragon Slayer slightly increased his physical abilities and also being able to use the techniques he learned from his master, said Nozomu. Mars said he won't let himself be outdone by any of the guys in rank 10. With his sword speed and power increased by the Dust Wind Blade in which he can also see the shackles through the attacks, Nozomu noticed that Mars's ability is Ability Susueo, a QI technique derived from Dust, Wind Blade, Dust, Splitter Ram. A flash step is a growth type that allows instantaneous linear movement and movement along complex curves. A high level technique requires excellent legs and a sense of balance to make full use of flash step's force. As well as delicate muscle control allows the whole body's movements to act in unison without any effort being wasted. The bell was ranged and the mock battle was over because the final exams were close. Nozomu thought as he headed to his class that he had never heard of someone with ability suspension capable of surpassing the limits that were placed on them, which he did not realize. 
Mars also thought that he had never realized how strong Nozomu had been all those days. Ch Nozomu thought in his mind after leaving the school in a hurry, that the fact that a person who hadn't approached Alakazam until the present moment had gone to the city. He thought about the fight with Tiamat, then went to meet his master as promised to fulfill to promise, and later told his master that she should be aware that exams are fast approaching. The perfect QI control and the use of force are the skills of someone who's used to hurting people, said Shino, his master. Later he sat down with his master and had a little talk with her. Shino told Nozomu about her life, how she started to live on the continent, and how she left her family and friends who abandoned her some years ago, which Shino was suffering from disease, and she couldn't wish to fulfill a promise to Nozomu, her disciple. She had the final training with him, in which he will be facing her in a serious battle to the death. Skills, physical abilities, and experience are some schools of swordsmanship. Then he thought about his master sword techniques to be composite combat, with her sheath and martial arts intermingled. Her sheath strengthened with QI techniques could easily break human bones. The impact was decreasing with her blow, but her attack came denser. The dual wielding countered the attack, but it becomes numb, and Nozomu's organs are tortured inside out. Shallow techniques won't work. Then she used her phantom blade and cancelled it Shino told Nozomu to release his ability suppression as they attacked each other fiercely. But Nozomu has to release it to win against his master. His visions grow dim, and sounds become distant. Shino has a death sleep disease during the fight with Tiamat, and she tells Nozomu to be fast and that she will die soon. Then Shino said recklessly on a bench that the reason why she ran to the continent was that she was abandoned by her parents, and some neighbors also spat at her face. Then she makes a final request from her disciples, Nozomu. Nozomu thought that if he tried to convince his master to live, he would just be going against her will with her own end in sight. He said master decided her own path long ago. Shino remembered all the memories with her disciple about how he became a dragon slayer that would be crushed by that power. Nozomu was able to endure the hellish training for two years, during which Shino noticed that he had grown bigger in order to learn Shino's special move over a battle with a being of absolute strength that uses phantom blade flash. His master told him he had grown stronger in sword, and she was relieved and pleased about who Nozomu had become. Nozomu thanked his master for all she had done so far to protect him and train him to the best of her special moves in every attack. Shino relaxed in Nozomu's arms and rested a bit while she passed away. There came a servant called Ugato, who informed his master that the contract his predecessor signed was fast approaching its execution date the date to retrieve the item they lent some countries to assist them. The country was also welcome from the south. After the final exams, their results were out. Nozomu managed to pass, despite failing some practical aspects because of his injured body, and still trying his best in the written exam. The Dragon Slayer was the power he possessed and was too much for him to control or handle. If he uses the power recklessly, it could destroy his mind or body in about 10 seconds. Solmenate Academy, where the very best in the continent in which students are gathered, teaches according to rank in order to guide high-ranking individuals to even greater heights. The school also creates a natural tendency for those of higher ranks to look down on lower rank students. Professor Kaskell was to take rank 5 classes, while Professor Anrivar was to take rank 10 classes. He joined a party group, and then two guys began to fight to try to lure Nozomu into the fight. A coordinate attack was to eliminate the delay from the incantation and knocking of arrows. Mars has changed, said Nozomu, because he was ostracized at the academy and could attack his allies and treat them as enemies without losing his composure. Under those circumstances, he instantly evaded his surprise attack by Nozomu. Mars saw Nozomu heading towards the forest all alone and decided to see for himself, and he followed him unnoticed. Mars followed Nozomu unnoticed to the forest in which Nozomu felt someone was watching him. He also has a bad feeling about finding out about the Dragon Slayer he possessed. Nozomu thought that it would also be a problem if they followed him to his master's cabin. Later he notices Mars, that has been tailing him around. But Mars firstly attacked Nozomu after asking him a rhetorical question with no answer. They both attack each other by clinging their swords at each other, but can make consecutive strikes really smoothly, in which he utilizes all the skills he acquired. He uses the wind elemental techniques where wind accumulates in the first, increasing the strength of the blow. Mars asked him out of curiosity how he learned those techniques of his, 
katana techniques, how he gained bizarrely precise movements, his skill with a sword, and many more questions. Nozomu said he was trained by his master in the skills of a sword, how to make special moves when using a sword, and the real meaning beneath me. He constantly moves to avoid being surrounded and turns it into a one-on-one -on -one fight through Mars. His improvement was Mars worries. He further asked him where he learned how to make split-second decisions and logical actions at the mock battles. He replied and told him that he learned that while he was fighting a monster in the pack, Nozomu further asked Mars the other major reasons why he followed him all the way from the Solmanate Academy premises. Before he could say anything, a young, smart girl of Mars's little sister called Ina Dickens accused him of first picking a fight with him. Ina called his elder brother a stupid and foolish guy for following Nozomu all around the forest and even fighting with him. Ina wasn't able to introduce herself to Nozomu because of his brother's immorality. Instead, she introduced herself as Ina Dickens. She treated him to dinner at a nearby inn they ran, where he could eat anything he wanted. He was served by their servant a slice of meat to eat. After the dinner, then he met Mars, who wanted to be friends with him and accepted his apologies for his past. Thank you for watching, and for more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out on future uploads. Or, click on the videos on the screen now. Thank you.